Sometimes you gotta expose your back a little bit, remember? Expose your back, you just sit on your back the whole time and then you get stuck the whole time. Okay, guard recovery. If that's not there, you gotta bail, you gotta you gotta scramble. There you go. There you go, get up, get up. Make space and get up, get up. Keep the pressure on get up, get up, there you go. You're uh, not doing any favors by letting get this on. Huh? I'm gonna get this one. Come on, Halstead. I'm trying, bro. The worst part is he winked at the camera right before he did it. Come on, Halstead. T-spin, sorry. So, this is how I do jujitsu. <laughs> uh, we're working on something for June. As soon as we get the opponent locked in, then you know we'll we'll start posting about it and stuff. So uh, lately, just a lot of wrestling, a lot of jujitsu. It's the biggest thing right now. Get my wrestling jujitsu. Bravo! Let's go! Yes, sir. Punches and your legs are wrapped around them, holding them in that uh, holding them in that position. So I like the butterfly guard because. <clears throat> they can't hold on to my legs to throw big shots. I'm underneath him, so if he does throw a big shot, I can kind of use my legs to create distance. All right, if he throws a big shot, I can pull him over me. I can I have a bunch of different options. The most important thing for me is I can get my feet to the floor. If I can get my feet to the floor, I can create distance. Okay, when I'm, when I'm here, right, he's throwing big shots. Sometimes if I'm trying to get away, he's gonna hold on to my legs and make it very hard for me to escape and get my feet to the floor. When I'm working butterfly guard, I can create distance and I can get myself onto the mat and start working some, uh, some escapes, some A-frame buildups, different stuff, right? So, first thing we're gonna do is just working on an escape, right? A lot of times, if the guy's throwing a big shot, we wanna first deal with the shot. I wanna turn, if he's throwing the right hand, I wanna turn and Bring my, my, my defense in on the inside. Okay. As, the, as the punch passes, I'm gonna hook around the wizard. Okay. As I wizard, I'm gonna go to my collar tie and cover here. This is gonna help me from getting hit with the opposite arm, which is free. Okay. Once I'm here, in this case I have a right collar tie. As I build up, I'm gonna put his head into my left pocket. Okay. So I'm gonna kick and to start driving down. And right away, my wizard arm is gonna build up to my hand here. Here. I wanna keep my elbow in tight, right? If Alex passes my elbow, right? No, I'm just, just driving me. He's gonna start going into the wrist ride, which we've been working on, right? And that's not where we wanna be. So, if I'm here, try to get to the wrist ride. This line of defense right here, my forearm on the collar here, or on the collarbone here, is gonna make it very hard for him to drive into me, okay? Protects my hands from getting grabbed. I have my feet on the floor so I can start building up. I mean, even if he ends up getting on the single when I build up, I'd rather be here working out of a position than stuck on my back, okay? But even if I'm here, I can work a lot of stuff, different things, right? Start breaking. Attacking Kimura's different options. So, throws the big shot. Wizard down, protect. Extend my legs. Whatever collar tie you have, you're gonna drive it into that opposite pocket. That wizard hand is gonna be your post. Elbow in on the inside here. Now as he drives into me, he's just gonna help me get up. Left shuffle shot. Three, 
seven, reset, two, roll, right shovel. Right shovel. Alright, one, two, three. Let's go on the belt. Every every four to five weeks, I I, uh, I pick up uh, I put together a little um, warm up combination. So it's always just really basic stuff, but I have them drill it for for uh, for four to six weeks as part of the warm up every day. Every day they do about about 15 to 20 minutes of bag work and then depending on what day it is after that we do different stuff like sparring certain days and the other days we're doing like mitt work or Dutch drills where they have their gloves on and shin pads on and they uh, and they work. But but it's just a whole new set of combos that I have them working on all through uh, April and mid-May. Oh shit. <laughs> you always get the awkward shit. Lost my coffee. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's just depends on how I feel out the guy, but either I'm trying to get him tired, or I'm trying to work on new stuff, or I'm trying to get him tired to work on new stuff. So it just goes depending on the guy. Dude, there it is. <laughs>